Right, hello everybody, welcome to another replay analysis for Squirrel Dude in SFL. This time versus Sven Rotterberger with his Wood Elves. In a blizzard, Squirrel Dude won the toss and chose to kick. And uh, the Woodies are on 11 players with some loners. Um, two good dancers with tackle, strip, sidestep. Four catchers. So very mobile, but also quite low strength. No, no tree, and max catchers is a pretty soft team, really, isn't it? Um, is there a tackler yet? But yes, there is a mighty blow tackler. Good. Good. I like to see mighty blow tackler, and I, this is my preferred formation on defense: benching one of your four ghouls to make sure you've got an offense, and then three ghouls plus the two mighty protected. So I like that. Look like Sven could be gone for a fast touchdown here, doesn't it? You no, know, I, I like not playing the good ghoul, Pedro, honestly, because it means you've got him for the for your offensive drive. And I like kicking, um, regardless of Blizzard. I like kicking just so that you can remove men to make their one turn harder, hopefully. I mean, that ghoul is so good that you'd want to play him on defense, obviously. You know, don't get me wrong, this is the sort of player that you want to play on Deven, but, because he's so good. Like, if he was just block, show hands, edge, even, you'd kind of want him, you'd, you know, if it's just block, show hands, then um, fair enough. But yeah, no, I think I always like to bench the absolute number one carrier, because then you've got your carrier, for sure, against elves. And that's very important. And, you know, he's, he's got these tackle strippers. And uh, if you don't have your proper carrier, you're going to be in trouble. Hello, I can style. And a gym shard to you too. <laughs> I thought for a second he was going to dodge in then, with it being the mighty blow tackle. It wouldn't have been that bad, would it? Five plus, like with the reroll. It literally wouldn't have even been bad. I mean, it wouldn't have been good either because there was no recovery and the dance already just got it and scored. But still, <laughs> it wouldn't have been as bad as you would have thought. <laughs> Chobo. He says Chobo there, doesn't he? So, uh, a GFI hate this GFI in the rain. In the rain, in the blizzard. Um. I can't know. I don't think there's any need. The lights off, um, and it's just it's just easier to do this with a light off. Um, <laughs> it's easy to do it with the lights off. <laughs> um, and plus, I mean, it's just replay analysis. There's no need to see my uh, to see my faces there. Yeah, it's Chobo. I'm sure he says Chobo. Yeah, the, uh, the commentator. I'm sure he says Chobo. He was winning. I love a bit of Chobo. So he gets wrestled. That's really not enough for, uh, for Sven. Now he's doing a dodge there. This is getting tricky, isn't it? Dodges away from tackle, dodges through tackle, and then dodges away. There were some big dice without a reroll there from Sven. Big dice. Big Dice Sven. And that's why they call him Big Dice Sven. <laughs> right, you've got a 1D and then hit the ball, haven't you? He can block him to free him up. He can block him for a push, and then you get Mighty Blow Tackle on the ball. I, I won't do crazy reactions, just because of replaying it. There's not really reactions in this kind of thing, is there? Gets him. I think I would have followed there. I don't even know why, but I just think I would have done. <laughs> Standard old BS, nothing to critique, yeah. Yep, the 1D, cheeky 1D. And again, I would have followed there. I don't know why, but I wouldn't. Well, no, I probably wouldn't have done actually, you know, because then the, the, the. Oof. Oh, horrible. Force the score? No. And don't go there. I think go there. 
I think I would have fallen there as well, honestly. I just because it makes it harder for him to get the ball, doesn't it? Like he'd have to do something. I know it looks like he's just giving him a tackle hit on a goal, but um, now it's just super easy for him to blitz him away, isn't it? And maybe even surf you actually could have blitzed there, gone there, gone there, surfed him or something. Yeah, I think I would have just scored, forced the score, and then try to beat him two one. Because you don't want him to be able to do this, do you? Bust out. Yeah, exactly. Mark and down players is good. Yeah, exactly. Although it would have just given a kind of a free block by him standing up and then him 2Ding you. Yeah. Um, at least you would ex be exerting some control over them, wouldn't you? Yeah. But I think I would have forced the score. Just because it it's not easy to do anything about it, is it? I mean, you can still get 2D on the ball here. One, two, three. Oh, I don't like this. Don't like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. He had two D on the ball again. Oh, sidestep though. Okay, sidestep makes it harder. Um, I think I would have gone fishing for the pal though. I think I would have fished for the pal with the ghoul. Um, if you push him, he's going to have to sidestep here, and then you're still going to get to hit him with mighty blow tackle. Um, also, you could block him so that he could go in there, so that he could block him, and then he could go and hit the ball. So, I do feel like it was better to fish for a pal with that goal. And yeah, you could have taken someone further away to assist there. I really don't like that assist because, because he could have gone seven. Couldn't he? But he only went one, whereas he could have blocked him. And then this zombie could have gone forward. And you've had another, uh, another ghoul dude. Get a surf, you know, which is all right. Uh, yeah, leaving the hit on with that sidestep is bizarre, isn't it? That is absolutely bizarre. It gives gives you the hit. And that was really bizarre. Maybe misclick, maybe he tabbed out. Who knows? There's gotta be a there's gotta be a surf at some point here, isn't there? Sure. <laughs> no federal no being mean to anybody, please. This, uh, this ghoul could have been served, couldn't it? But he's just got too much strength too, so it's really hard, isn't it? <laughs> no being mean, nobody be mean. Steal the ball, yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. The thing is, it's just there would else, there would else. And your zombies. <laughs> um, and. You, oh, I should have done from your point of view, anyway, shouldn't I? You've got to know your limitations. What, what movie is that from? Is it Cool Hand Luke? I don't know. But, um. One elf is not enough, no, not really. You've got kind of two, though, really, haven't you? He's like a wood elf with a block and dodge. Wood Elf Lino with Block and Dodge, and he's like a, nearly a dancer, isn't he, him? He's nearly a dancer. This offense is bad. <laughs> okay. So we've gone the, the Bernie Buffon. Offset LOS into a P. Diddy. So, I don't like this setup because you're giving him a, a, you know, like it's a punch there and then he's through. Um, I would have liked this guy one in and him one in or something. Or like two here. Only three there. I don't think you need four on the line. Because you can just block straight forward. It's not terrible. The fact that these haven't got blocked. Like you're lacking block overall. I think just these three is all you needed. So I could have put him there and had like, you know, diamonds. Yeah, not enough deep. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Got burned. He got burned. I think zombie on the line. Ghoul there. 
those three there, zombie on the line, cool behind, zombie on the line, white behind, in fact, you know, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, these two back. I mean, that's okay. But the, and the tackle isn't in bad, but he's not protected from a blitz. So he could potentially have blitzed him, uh, move around, blitz him. Then he opens you up and your tackle is out of the game completely. So, yeah, it was a blizzard, but still, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He goes there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's come through. And now you've all of a sudden got elves in your backfield and your tackle is out of the game which isn't great oh yeah the dancers are just move seven yeah okay yeah that makes but still still i still think you should always be wary of a blitz around elves watch yourselves you can't stop everything no that's true that's true i'm not saying you can but i think probably should have been wary very wary of a blitz against elves. Not liking this. I'm not liking this rando base there. Rando base from the zombie. And then putting tackle on him. I don't like that either. I would want him free to be able to react. Um no, but you can kind of stop them dodging through the 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 the, the front easily. You can, I'll, I'll show you the setup after this. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't like this at all. I think the player would have been, you know, if you're going to hit him two, and then three, four, five, six, get him back, because if he get if he gets his elves all over, I mean, I wouldn't have even blitzed with him. I'd have just moved him back and blitzed with this mighty blow one. Um, I just moved him back, and you know, to, to get back and protect the ball because he's got these guys here. You know, he's got some pressure. Your fucking team of shitty zombies and really shitty mummies. Like, you know, movement three is just terrible against elves. Movement four, edge two is terrible against elves. So you've got, you know, a lot of your team is terrible against elves, and then your good players are very, very open to elves, just beasting them with tackle. So it's tricky. It's a very hard matchup, realistically. And again, could have just done this first, right? Ordering. Ordering is a thing there. One that most people would... You know, it's kind of how people do it. You know, you don't expect a 1 in 12, 9, 6, do you? Um, but again, with only two rerolls, you, you really want to try to be as safe as possible. Like, if you've done all these moves first, then could have eaten a double skull there, potentially. So yeah, I would have tried to move move him back. See, because now he just gets punched. And he's isolated. And... No, yeah, that's sure, sure. But you could have screened off and done them before... Before picking up the ball. Or before blitzing. It just was not, not that blitz then with these moves, you know. I think it's fair that you would... That you would uh, he would want to pick it up before moving him. So he, he failed something there, didn't he? Did he double one or just roll one one? Just one one by the looks of it. But yeah, so now this is your problem, right? Because of that basing, now your main weapon against him is over here. Based up. And he's just feeling bad, isn't he? Four, five, six. And... Uh, he can get right into a cage, which is good. Get guard on the cage corners, so it should be all right. Oh, there isn't really guard to put on the cage corners, but can use the uh, the Venga bus. Ooh, handing off. Bald. He's got strip ball. Oof. But got the guard in the front and the extra guy in the back. So like this is the right way around to do it. I would have probably just not done it so close to the dancer. So that you could have still you know, so it'd have been one square back. So it'd have been over here. Um to save the two plus roll. He doesn't have a wizard, does he? 
No. I mean, doing this did get you an extra square forward, but I don't know. I'd just rather have the ball on the movement A sidestepper anyway. So, yeah, I think over here, but one square back would have been better. The good thing is, that although he was isolated there, he can't really exploit it because he hasn't got the strength himself, has he? Hello, Shawnee. Yeah, it is Shawnee FL, isn't it? Oh, disgusting hidden mighty blow. Cheaty Woodells. Woodells nearly out bashing you. <laughs> Alright, what's the play to get forward here? You don't have to get that far forward, do you? With, with this guy being movement eight. Um, so maybe just get the get the zomb mummies in contact with people, and then just cage up a, like two squares further forward. Shit, couldn't fuck barely. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I think he could have gone there. I don't know if he could have reached. Looks like he could have reached. Maybe just put him in there. This way you've got guard at the front, which is good. Though. No, no, exactly. Yeah, should have probably should have probably moved it up first. I think it's safe to say that, that should have moved up the ball first. Keeping the ball safe. Number one priority against elves. So it just has to get the ball, I mean just has to get this guy a little bit further forward. And then go for a handoff play to him. But you need him protected and able to strike. Looking like blitzing here and going down the side there a bit, doesn't it? Because there's three here and him, so there's four fast players. He can then go around, try to dodge through here. There's an extra, extra uh, scoring threat. So my play would be to blitz him and then push down this side as far as you could. Looks like we're going to see the mighty blow hit on him. No? Oh, I, I think if you're going to go down this side, blitz him. And then you can move him through at will, can't you? So he's getting a little bit further forward. This guy has to get in scoring range, though. He literally has to be, like, on this line. Oh. So, should have moved him there and then hand it back to him, right? Because he's not in range now. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think... You either blitz there and push down this side. Which was kind of harder, but it's also harder for him to react to. A little bit. Or you blitz that guy to actually move down there and like have something down here and something here. Uh, but that was the main thing there, was he had to hand off to him. And he had to be in range, and he's not in range. And he's not in range, so yeah. Yeah, there's more room on the right side. Um, but you can get further forward if you power him with a blitz on that side. So, But as it was, blitzing one of the elf screen didn't really let you get forward at all. But even then, could have swapped these two around. And now I don't even think anybody's in scoring range, are they? Maybe him? Is he the only one in scoring range? Yeah, he's in scoring range. Let's 
It's gone around there to stop that easy one. So it means you just got to blitz this guy, I think. Or him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like you just didn't go for it. Um, but yeah, I think blitzing him was the play. And then it would it would have still been hard, like four plus three plus. But I think that was the office was the only play, wasn't it? There's <laughs> Oh, it was a pass, fair enough. Just là, si vous êtes lancé le ballon, par le enfin par les yeux, il y a des loups, je suis content de vous avoir de temps. I think the play was definitely to have, well, to have not handed off, to have never handed off at all, and kept it on your movement eight, who then would have been in the right place. <laughs> no, fair enough. Fair, it's not comfortable, is it, to do those touches? But still, if you and and yeah, if you've got your eye on the playoffs, fair enough, and like don't want them to die, but. Schools are always pretty throwaway anyway. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be bothered that much about them. Pi. So again, minimal defense against blitz. This is actually quite strong against the pi, though. Having the two players down like this, isn't it? Uh, maybe you should have had them just like in a row, because this way, if the ball's over here, it's kind of harder for him to get it, isn't it? Whereas if you have them on the same in the same column, then uh, if one gets hit by PI, the other one can still reach. But at least there was insurance against PI by having two guys back. Was it a triple scores? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I was just trying to fucking get away from that and look at this. Um, fair enough, yeah. I don't know, Shawnee, it depends, doesn't it? I think for Elves, it doesn't seem that bad for offense, for Elves, because they can react to it. But for a Bash team versus Elves, it's way worse on their offense. Like, if it's a Bash versus Elf, if the Elf get it on their offense, they're like, it's not that bad, is it? Whereas, if the Bash get it, they're like, oh shit, they're going to come and sack us now. <laughs> Like, if this had been a short kick and things, bad things had happened. Just depends, doesn't it? Worse for offence when it's a one-turn attempt. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, he ended up in contact, which is obviously... Could have been avoided by blocking differently, somehow. Again, I didn't really watch the blocking LOS, but it would have been possible to have not been in contact. I mean, even if it just didn't follow up, just couldn't follow up. But, uh, that was a rowdy no re-roll, yeah. With, he's got three. I think maybe he could have afforded to have re-rolled that. Um, obviously got to blitz him with him. Want to get the ball safe first? Are we going to get the ball safe first? That would be nice. This is a catcher, so unless you're going to make it a three dice. I guess he's facing him as well. Yeah, it just depends, doesn't it, Sean? It just depends. I think it depends on the situation, who it, who it hurts more. Alright, ball is... <laughs> no longer protected. Uh, I think... There, there was a character in this square, wasn't there? So I would have tried to not rely on him being there because you what you're gonna move the zombie mummy where he was right ish yeah i think the mummy could have been there first then but he's got sidesteps so you really had to make sure your cage was all right because uh, you couldn't you couldn't rely on knocking him over much less removing him so i had to had to make just a, a proper cage first so i think I think this was not really a great cage. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, he could have even just leapt in for a 1D, couldn't he? So I'd say a poor cage. And also not secure before going for the hit. 
Now we can definitely make a secure. First moves first, make a secure cage. This looks like it's not it because you kind of want the guard at the front. It could be. First moves first, yeah. Did I say first moves first? I meant safe moves first. So again, this is not safe. Because <laughs> there's the triple down. And if that was uh, another triple down, then you're giving up a 1D on the ball, aren't you? <laughs> first moves first, yeah, you can't, you can't argue with first moves first, can you? That is absolutely uh, the best advice possible. But anyway, got the uh, got the old Venger bus going here, so now it's hard because you'd have to make a crazy dodge in and then meet one there, so it's pretty much safe. <laughs> oh fuck off! <laughs> fuck off, Shawnee! <laughs> it's good that you're back, <laughs> but fuck off. <laughs> Got to run around here and blitz. One, two, three, four, five. Blitz him into another mighty blow hit. Let's go. Well, it's not what I would have done. But who's to say if it's good or bad? <laughs> wasn't terrible or anything obviously but I think you've got you're trying to use the uh, you know use the my, the guard the blah, 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 blah. use the mummy like a big strength 5 monster which he is but I think the only chance Sven's got here is by leaping he's going for it now surely he's got to go for it this is this is too easy isn't it? this is just a 4 plus dodging for a 1d didn't follow it doesn't matter, I guess, but still, I would have followed. He's not doing it. He's not even doing it. Come on, man. Four plus, four plus dodge in for a 1D. He doesn't even go for it. So I guess at this point, Sven's given up or something. I guess so. That was way too easy, wasn't it? A four plus in, or a leap, but a four plus with dodge into a 1D on the ball. Is like the easiest he's going to get. But yeah, so so you're trying to use the mummy as a, as a strength five monster, whereas in actuality, I would just be using him as a guarder. With him being your only guard, I'd be using him as the guard to protect the ball all the time, rather than sending him out to try and uh, to try and beat up elves. And I would have carried on Venger bussing, just because it's like you know he's got so few players left, hasn't he? That it's just that's the only danger he's got is the. Uh, Kind of crazy dice into the cage. And this isn't that crazy. But it does look like he's given up a bit. The fact he didn't go for it last turn. So, after that turn, you can say that it's justified to get your uh, mummies in the mix and try to generate more mighty blow hits for them. Oh. Yeah, he's just, he's just lacking players now, isn't he? Could blitz with uh, the ghoul on there to try and get into mighty blow hits. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, Skrill dude, fair enough. But he hasn't got the players to stop you this time, has he? Um, so... Yep, yeah, could chain into more hits, for sure. For sure, there's been a few times where you could have done that this game. And, like, obviously you don't want to sacrifice positioning to do it. 
But there were times when you it wouldn't have sacrificed positioning, like the one where the ghoul could have run around the blitz and you just moved him to the exact place where he would have been to have done the hit anyway. Then he might as well have done it first to get to to get the additional hit potentially. Um, going around here to get the additional hit in might not have been worth it um, because you're getting hit with mighty core tackle anyway. So it's not necessarily correct to have done it in this case um, or in any case. But I think if it's not costing you anything, it's definitely something you should be thinking about. Sven doing a uphill now and gets the power. Look a dog. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that exposed, was it? It wasn't that exposed. It, it, it's an uphill. You can't really stop him leaping in for an uphill. I mean, at the end of the day. He leapt in for an uphill. What can you do about that? <laughs> you know. The good thing is you've got the sidestep into this extra cage, which I assume... I assume you did... Um, you did on purpose. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, no, you've got you to gotta make the ball save at all stages. When you're dominating, obviously now when you're dominating is the time when people don't like play their worst blood bowl probably, isn't it? When they're dominating because they kind of take it easy. Um, I think you probably wanted to have filled up this square and then punched him with him before making this block. It is kind of a relevant block. I oh, know it gets him in there. Okay. I mean, I would have just done it with this guy, but that's okay. Now you can blitz with him with uh, blitz him with the uh, mummy. Whoa, or not? I'd have blitzed him with the mummy, and then you then you've cleared him for the uh, from the ghoul. Or you could have even just blocked him with him. I guess you could have blocked him with him and <laughs> and remove him. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Um, yeah, I guess that works. It's a one in nine to fail, but I, I would have probably wanted to hit him with a mummy um, for 3D. And. Uh, uh, no, I don't know. But then that keeps the. If you don't follow, then you've got then you've got the blitz of the warp dancer because uh, I'll put someone else in there. Oh yeah, so then he, you could have. I don't know. I think it's all right because it let it gave you the block him to just free him without using an extra person. With a mighty blow catch, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, this was right. I think. Right. So turn sixteen. He hasn't even got the place to stop you, has he? So that's pretty good. Well, you probably could have done a GFI. At least make you hit somebody. But then I guess you're going to hit somebody anyway. This gives you the opportunity to not hit somebody. So I guess that was good defence by uh, Sven. Because the only, if you put someone in the way, they're just going to get blitzed. And uh, and maybe get cast, aren't they? Whereas this way, he's given you the opportunity to not make a 3D and just score without any dice rolls. So this is probably better by Sven than trying to defend it. <laughs> good play by him. Even though it looked kind of shit and wrong to not defend the touchdown at all. Um, he'd be looking at a 1 in 12, 9, 6 would have been his only chance. Or maybe even a 3D, wouldn't he? So he pretty much had no chance. We've got a bit of a one-turn defence here. <laughs> yeah, he lost players though, didn't he? He lost quite a few players, so... Maybe he wasn't feeling it, and that's why he didn't push it. Yeah, he stopped He stopped the tutty the first half, didn't he? Um, I like sitting out the... Uh, sitting out the ghoul here, of course. 
I don't like having uh, this guy in the end rather than the strength 5 mummy. Because you're giving him a, you're giving him a chance to hit this guy, aren't you? Whereas he couldn't have hit the mummy. Well, it would have been uphill with the mummy. I guess he was going to do a leap or something. I don't know what he was going to do. Uh, Well, there's no one turn here, is there? It's taking forever. I could just skip. I could just skip it. It could be a riot, I guess. There could be a riot. No, it's a perfect defence. <laughs> it could be a perfect defence, then a riot. There's still a chance here, isn't there? Uphill 3D after the leap. Maybe you could have tagged him with a loner to make it an uphill 2D. Oh, it is an uphill 2D. Five, six, seven. Oh, he's the, he's hitting the guard. Wait, I don't understand. He's hitting him, but he's got guard on him. That's five, six, seven. Eh? Oh, he's got assist of his own. He's got an assist of his own. Right. Derp. Fucking Derpingtons. He didn't do it anyway. I don't know what, what happened. Right, I'm tired. I'll be honest with you, I'm tired. Do first moves first. If there's one thing to take away from this game, is first moves first. <laughs> do we have breaks to 11? Twice as many blocks. And uh, loads of loads of dodges there from the Woodies. So, you know, obviously your play's going to look good when you have 91% dodges, isn't it? And um, 18, 15, 15, 30, 34, 36, 24, so not good. Uh, <laughs> Renovate your last movie, yeah. GFI is not good, but it was in the snow, to be fair. Made the pickups, hardly any dodges. Um, so yeah, no, I thought I thought you played quite well. That's cool, dude. But yeah, I would say the first the first half, the, I think it was a mistake to hand off from the movement eight guy, and you know I said that at the time, and then ended up um, it ended up being if it, if the movement eight had been holding it, he would have been in range to score, wouldn't he? Um, so that's that's something, I guess. Right, and yeah, the chaining the blocks, I think, especially against Woodell, Woodell's, where the Woodells are trying to like limit you to one block a turn, aren't they? Or as few as possible. Um, getting extra ones is pretty nice. Uh, you know, kind of got to think about rolling pushes, haven't you, a lot of the time, rather than just assuming you're going to roll pals. Um, so yeah, yeah, chaining the blocks. Safe moves first. There was a lot of not safe moves first. Um, yeah, that that's a fair that's a fair assumption to you know especially if you had a wizard for a wizard, it would have been absolutely correct to hand off to him and have the uh, the super cool for recovery. That's absolutely the correct play against a wizard. And yeah, I mean the the problem is he he, he, he then has the strip, doesn't he? The, the strip being active, um, the strip being active is just is just the killer there, isn't it? Because then then he's just definitely going to get the ball out. Once one strip comes into play, you're definitely losing the ball. And then once you lose the ball, it might not matter that you've got a guy free to pick up the ball because uh, he might have scored. <laughs> um, right, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.